Hello people of Cloister Club. It's lovely to have the chance to read a story to you again today. I hope you're all doing well. We're okay in our house, although it's been quite a long time now that we've been all together and I think sometimes we're getting a tiny bit scratchy with each other. A tiny bit scratchy and annoyed. I think that's okay every now and again, as long as we say sorry and remember to be kind to each other afterwards. I think one reason for being a bit scratchy and annoyed with each other is disappointment. This virus has stopped us doing a lot of things that we had hoped to do. I had a birthday in April. It was quite a big birthday, one with a naught on the end of it. I look pretty good for a hundred, don't I? And I was hoping to meet up with family and friends. But we couldn't do that and it was very disappointing not to be able to see them all. Perhaps you've had a birthday too in these past weeks and you haven't been able to have a birthday party like you normally would. It's very disappointing and it's especially disappointing if we don't quite understand why this is all happening. And we don't understand why. I don't understand why. Well today we're going to hear a story about some people who I think were disappointed and didn't understand what was going on either. And these are Jesus's friends, his disciples. We're going to meet up with them again. And do you remember the last story I told you? They were confused and discombobulated, but Jesus appeared to them as they were walking along the road. And he explained things as best he could and as best as they could understand. <clears throat> he ate a meal with them and this comforted them a lot. And then he left them again. So what I'm going to do is to read the next part of that story and then we're going to think a little bit about it at the end. So after that very first Easter Sunday, Jesus spent 40 days walking and talking with his closest friends and followers. They were thrilled that Jesus was alive again and they listened very carefully to every word as he taught them more about the kingdom of God. Now one of Jesus's favorite places was the top of a mountain. He would go there often to be alone and talk with God. That was where he prayed. His friends loved him so much and didn't want to leave him. So one day some of them followed him to the top of the mountain. On the way up, Jesus told them that the Holy Spirit would come to give them strength to teach people all over the world about him. Now, when Jesus finished talking about the Holy Spirit, a very strange and miraculous thing happened. They watched in amazement as a cloud appeared out of heaven. It surrounded Jesus and it lifted him up. He disappeared out of their sight they had never seen anything like that. And they couldn't believe their eyes. They just stood there staring up into the sky. Then two angels appeared right beside them, asking why they were just standing there. The angels explained that Jesus had been taken up to heaven, but that someday he would come back. They were certainly glad to hear that, but they still didn't know what to make of it at all. This was all quite puzzling and they weren't exactly sure about what they should do next. But one of them remembered the words of Jerusalem, Jesus telling them to stay in Jerusalem. So they walked back down the mountain and down the dusty road into the city, talking excitedly about the event that had just taken place. So I'm just going to try and show you a picture of the ascension, which is the word we use for the story that I've just told you. So I wonder whether I can show this clearly for you. It's by a man called Brian Wildsmith, and this is his book called The Easter Story. And it ends with a wonderful picture of the ascension. You can see Jesus there being lifted up into the sky by angels and his friends at the bottom here, standing on the top of the mountain, in amazement. And the story is told in this book 
through the eyes of a donkey. You can see the little donkey there. I think it's a beautiful picture. So just to remind you here is this picture of Jesus going up the mountain because he knew it was near the time for him to leave the earth. And as the sun rose one morning, he went up to his father in heaven. It was a glorious thing for the disciples to see. They were sure that Jesus was a wonderful person, God's very own son. But as we've just heard, I'm sure they didn't understand what was going on. And I wonder too whether they were a little bit disappointed. I wonder whether they had hoped that Jesus would have stayed with them much longer. But one of the things Jesus had been teaching them in those 40 days when he was with them was that he would have to go. They couldn't keep Jesus to themselves. And if you think about it, if Jesus had stayed with them, he would have had to stay in one particular place in Palestine, near Jerusalem, in the first century, hundreds of years away from when we are living today. But by going back to his Father and by sending the Holy Spirit on all people, the ascension means that Jesus is able to be with us all wherever we meet, in whatever century and wherever we are in the world. By learning to let Jesus go, by learning not to be too disappointed, Jesus' friends were sharing him with the whole wide world. They were sharing Jesus with you and with me. So I think God understands us when we're disappointed, when things don't quite turn out as we were hoping. But we know that the things that we and our families are doing at the moment are really important. We're doing them because we love other people and we want to keep them safe. And in the same way, the disciples learned that they had to share Jesus with the whole world. And they did this with love, even though it was disappointing for them not to be able to keep Jesus with them to themselves. So as we continue to live with our families in these times which bring us disappointment sometimes, and in these times which we don't quite understand. I hope we can pray together that Jesus will help us all to live with each other in love. Bye bye for now.